Everybody and welcome back to another rockable guitar lesson and I'm back with a favorite of mine today I want to show you how to play Water Dolly by Red Berry and the Bell Raves. It was released in 1959 on Dream Records but also the same year on 20th Fox and it's such a fantastic uh, uh, rockabilly song featuring two blistering solos played by Lou Berry on his 56 Telecaster. Actually, all the brothers were extremely talented, playing several instruments, and later on in their careers they played some mighty fine country music, and Jeannie Barry, who sent me the picture, said uh, their harmonies were just pure magic. They also owned a couple of uh, clubs in the area and a music store in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And Council Bluffs, Iowa is actually where I got this record at my favorite record store, uh, Canesville Collectibles. Hi, I'm Tim from Canesville. Council Bluffs, Iowa, 534th Street, and we've been here for 34 years. We have three floors full of records, 78s, 45s, LPs, comic books, and we have more than one million records here. Big thanks also to Mike Semrad who introduced me to Jeannie Barry, and he also gave me some valuable information uh, regarding Omaha rock and roll. I will show you the first solo right here on YouTube and if you want to learn the second one as well and have access to the jam tracks and tabs to this song and to many other Rockabilly songs then uh, please join me on Patreon. And if you haven't done yet please subscribe to my channel to never miss a lesson like this one. How to play a Water Dolly by Red Berry and the Bell Raves. The first solo in Water Dolly is just fantastic. It's got everything that you could want from a rockabilly guitar solo. It's got some great runs, some double stops and finger picking as well. It's played over essentially a 12 bar blues pattern, but in the second bar you will play a G instead of staying on the A. So it's A, G, then back to A for two bars, and then you go on with a familiar 12 bar blues pattern. So let's start with the first run that goes like this. Oh, just some nice uh, bass run to get things started on the fifth fret here. Yeah, five on the E string, then four on the A string twice, seven twice, then just to the D string very briefly. 4th fret and then back to 7 on the A string. And then you move to G and play essentially the same lick. But he stops here because then you have to go back in time uh, for the next part. Uh, just repeat the first two bars again. And then the next run. Starts here on the 5th fret again, the A, then to 7, on the A string 4 and 7, same on the D string, then on the G string 4, 5 and 6, then to the B string, and I move my index here, so it's easier, and I'll play, and then on the E string, 8, 7, and 5, and then the last note is the 7 on the B string. One more time, this whole run played over um, bars 3 and 4. Then the next part. Starts here on the 5th fret, high E string, then you pull off from 8 to 7 on the B string, play 5, then 7 on the G string, 5 on the G string, and then you 
uh, play a double stop on the fifth fret, G and B string together. And here it's back and forth between the fifth fret, B and G string, and seven on the D. Yeah? This whole part. One more time. And to the next part. Starts on the seventh fret, D string, that's an A as well. Then you play the octave on the high E string. Then on B, five and seven. Back to the fifth fret on the E string. One more time this bar. And then in the next bar, seven and eight to five on the E string, seven on the B string, back to five on the E string, and then the pull off from eight to seven, and the last note is the fifth fret. Yeah. And I'll play the whole second row for you. Then you slide from uh, 7 to 9 on the G string to play this riff, so back and forth between the G string and the B string 5th fret. And then in the next bar, 5th fret, uh, double stop again, E and B string, and then 7 to 5 on the G string. And these two bars. And then it goes back into the, uh, this pattern where you go back and forth between A and G and he does some uh, finger picking that goes like this. So over A I play the open A string and the 7th fret on the D string in the bass like this and I uh, dampen the string with my right hand yeah and um, I grab an F shape A chord here on the fifth fret and then I play yeah there's a pull off here from seven to five from the pinky to the index on the B string here and that's on the on the off beat so it might be a little tricky if you never played the Finger picking technique, yeah. So, and if you're not familiar with the rockabilly finger picking, uh, start really slow, and play one note after another, yeah, until you're uh, totally comfortable with the phrase, and then you proceed to the next one. And here again, I grab a F shape. A G chord on the third fret and then I wrap my thumb around the neck to play. So in the bass it's the E string and the D string and then in the melody I just grab the top two strings and then at the end it's just the B string. Oh, I think it's it comes on four, yeah? like this. And again, uh, practice slow uh, if you can't get the rhythm right away. Uh, play it at your own speed. Uh, you don't have to learn it in record time. Then back to A, where I play. This is all coming from the A chord here. And then back to G. So one more time the whole finger picking part. And 
And I think it's not that important that you play every note exactly like I did here. You can improvise a little bit here. Yeah. Something like this, yeah? Uh, you can make it your own. So now I repeat the whole solo uh, to the metronome at 100 beats per minute. Uh, one, two, three, four. Thank you. 